Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm excited to share another big milestone for The Calling, our national network television debut. As you know, CBS's highly rated morning show, CBS This Morning, filmed a segment about The Calling. We toured The Calling vineyards, the winemaking facility, and gave people an inside look at the making of our fine wines. So I'd like to make a toast to The Calling. Cheers and enjoy the show. CBS announced that Jim Nance is one of the most familiar faces in sports. He's hosted everything from the Super Bowl to the Masters. But there is a side of Jim most fans do not know about. Jeff Glor is with us. Jeff, good morning. Charlie, good morning to you. It's not what you might guess. Nance is still broadcasting and will keep broadcasting. But he's also found another job and a new home. Hello, friends. Welcome, friends. And hello, friends. Jim Nance here. For 30 years, sports fans have heard a familiar voice wow, what a feeling. deliver some of broadcasting's most memorable lines. A tradition unlike any other. I've been in people's living rooms for more than half my life with a blue blazer on. So I think people think I sleep in a blue blazer. I go out to dinner with that CBS coat on. Uh, that is my life. And you know what? I'm so proud of that life. But uh, this truly is... This is my life right here. Here is Northern California, where Jim Nance has found his second calling, making wine. It wouldn't seem there's too many similarities between the two jobs. Are there some? Oh, I think there are some. I think every time I go into the booth, I have to have my research down cold. I want to be able to be there to tell the story of a, of a big sporting event. Who's going to make the history here in New Orleans? The now, on the wine side, I was researched. I spent a good 10 years combing through valleys and talking to vintners and meeting with people and reading all about it to try to understand this business. And I wanted our product to be something that was authentic. Nance's dream to create his own wines became a reality in 2009 after a chance meeting with Peter Deutsch. When you say chance meeting, what does that mean? I was in a restaurant in uh, Greenwich, Connecticut when uh, this towering six foot five guy came over and interrupted my dinner and said, uh, excuse me, he said, I'm Peter Deutsch. I just read your book about your father that you wrote and um, just wanted to say hello. I feel like I've known you my whole life. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, thank you. Uh, and and uh, what industry are you in? He said, I'm in the wine business. I said, really? Deutsch, along with his father, had built one of the most successful family-owned wine companies in the country, responsible for more than 30 brands of wine, including Yellowtail. Peter's relationship with his father drew him to a copy of Nance's book. If Jim hadn't written that book, we wouldn't be here today. We would never have been here today, absolutely not. That chance meeting became a chance to make a new product. Just as soon as Nance answered one pressing question. I asked him point blank, does your name have to be on the label? And his answer was on the money. If it can help us, let's do it. But I prefer that it stays off in the background. Thankfully, I knew enough about the wine business to know that could really lead to a disaster. You can be the most beloved singer, golfer, whatever, but you put your name on the label, it's a tough sell. So the, 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 the graveyard of celebrity wines, it's running out of space. You knew from the beginning you had no interest in seeing your name. I'm not a vanity play. And I'm, I'm lucky enough to have the dream job. Truly, since I was 11 years old, I wanted to work for CBS. I always wanted to be calling the great American sporting events. The name they settled on? The Calling. Along with Nance's wife, Courtney, Jim and Peter have partnered with some of the best vineyards and winemakers in California. And last month, in Jim and Courtney's new hometown of Carmel, they launched their fifth product, a Pinot Noir. Today, their wines are available in more than 2,000 restaurants across the country. Here, 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 here. Starting at about $30 a bottle retail, the wine is not cheap. But Nance believes the quality exceeds bottles that cost twice as much. You know, I look at it like this. I didn't grow up with a family that had an endless supply of money. That was a grew up in a loving, modest family environment. I wouldn't want to put something on the market that my parents, you know, in their time, couldn't go to a restaurant and afford to buy it. Cheers. Family ties are the reason this wine was launched in the first place. And they're the reason Nance hopes it will last. This was an opportunity to, to try to take something that I taught myself, uh, a level of expertise, 
and then could apply that passion and energy into something that could become a company that stays in my family for generations to come.